Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is about a cast member or a former cast member that we haven't spoken about in ages, and that's Larissa Dos Santos Lima. Now, Larissa is best known for her relationship with Cole T, Cole Johnson, and just what a disaster that was, uh, abusive, toxic relationship cops were often involved uh, with these two and uh, that ended very badly and uh, since then Larissa has kind of uh, you know she's uh, stepped her feet into the adult content creation sphere and I believe this was the reason why she was uh, banned forever from 90 Day Fiance was because she was doing videos uh, you know x-rated videos on Cam Soda at one point and that was I believe at the time the last straw for TLC. Now, we've spoken a little bit about this in some recent videos, and some people have mentioned that perhaps standards have changed because there are cast members now that have OnlyFans account, whereas it appeared that this was not allowed maybe a couple of years ago. So we don't know exactly uh, what the contracts look like these days, but at the time, TLC had a problem with Larissa basically doing what was considered porn. So <laughs> she's no longer a 90 day fiance. And this ties into the story for today because Larissa went online just recently and announced that she is making a return, a comeback to reality TV, which begs the question that everybody has, where is she going to return? Is it going to be 90 day fiance or is it going to be some other show? Now, just recently, we also learned that Scott Warren was also banned, basically fired from 90 Day Fiance. And also, he is going to come back to reality TV, but it won't be 90 Day Fiance. And so let's take a look at what's going on with Larissa Dos Santos here. Since we haven't spoken about her in ages, we're going to go through this and, and see if we can get some clarification about, uh, you know, what kind of reality TV show she's going to be doing. Larissa left 90 Day Fiance four years ago. A lot has happened in her life since then, and she's coming back to reality TV to tell her story. From reality star to villain, Larissa's journey has been tumultuous, but she's back on TV in House of Villains. So it won't be 90 Day Fiance, but it will be on House of Villains. Now, disclaimer, I've never watched the show. So if you guys have watched House of Villains, please let me know what you think in the comment section down below about the show and about Larissa joining that show. I'm very curious to know you guys' opinions if you've watched that show. Arrests, surgeries, and surprising friendships. Larissa has kept fans intrigued about what has been happening since she's been on the show. Her evolution includes emotional reunions and a mysterious new boyfriend. Now, uh, 90 Day Fiance alum, Larissa Dos Santos has been revived as she's making a comeback four years after being fired. Larissa is a 37-year-old from Minas Gerais, Brazil, who was introduced during 90 Day Fiance Season 6 as Cole Johnson's future wife. Cole has been in two on-screen relationships since his divorce from Larissa, but his most memorable moments are the ones with Larissa. Larissa's journey in the franchise was cut short after a mistake she committed in 2020, and in turn, viewers lost an important cast member that they all love to hate. Uh, did you guys love to hate Larissa? Is is this accurate? Did you guys enjoy hating her? Or did you guys just hate Larissa, period, and never wanted to see her on TV again? Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Larissa quickly earned her villain status and embraced it. Her ex-husband recently revealed his split with his third wife, uh, Vanessa Guerra, while Larissa herself is thriving in her new relationship. There's a lot that has happened. So what is the Brazilian up to next? Now, you can just see here, in some of these early pictures, right, with her and Cole, they both change in looks, uh, both. But Larissa's change is very drastic. She looks like a completely new and different person. I mean, if you look at this picture here, and then we take a look at her Instagram, I mean, she's had, um, you know, she, she's been completely redone. And, like, from top to bottom, right? Like, <laughs> everything has been enhanced uh, to the nth degree, uh, just like her chest area. You guys can see that. I believe she also has put on fake abs as well. So uh, everything in her body basically has become plastic ever since we saw that picture. She's invested in her body, and you can see here. Now, the reason why she's done this is because 
like I said at the beginning of this video, she is tried to, well, she has make a career in the adult content creation world, right? And she has done that. Now, I can't verify these numbers, but I remember reading that at one point, after she's done all these procedures, she was making upwards of $500,000 per year. Is that true or not? I can't verify that, but I've read uh, information to that extent. So um, I guess getting that makeover to look from this to this pace, I guess. That's, that's the world that we live in today. Now, the self-described mommy's boy Cole had met Larissa online. Cole tried dating a few American women, but he obviously started looking outside, mainly to Brazil. I mean, Cole has really liked Brazil, just like Paul Stale as well, uh, for women. He had sent Larissa a message, and to his surprise, she actually responded. They met in real life for the first time while on a vacation in Cancun. Cole thought that he was having a heart attack, when he saw Larissa because she was the most beautiful woman that he had ever seen. He proposed to Larissa on the fifth and final day of vacation when she said yes. Once Larissa moved to the U.S., reality struck. They started arguing while at the airport and Colt noted how she came to America and hadn't stopped complaining once since she got there. Now, his uh, dynamic with his mom, Debbie Johnson, also made Larissa feel uncomfortable. And of course, I think it made all of us feel uncomfortable because they had a weird dynamic right i mean probably the most weird on the show outside of some of those tlc shows like where they have like you know mom and son having real like awkward ways of bathing together and some other weird stuff right like they tlc has those shows but the og like weird mom and 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 son relationship is colt and debbie that came before all those weird shows uh, maybe Colt and Debbie was the inspiration for all those weird shows. Who knows? Now, their wedding planning process was anything but smooth, and Larissa was arrested just days before the wedding. She was arrested again in the same year, and even though the charges in both cases were dropped, their explosive fights are still fresh in fans' minds. Larissa faced dom domestic battery char uh, charges following her third arrest in January 2019. And what's interesting about all of those guys is, um, you know, we've spoken about this uh, and with some other couples as well. Most recently, uh, Mahmoud and Nicole. Uh, but we can see that you can get a re you can be a spouse to an American, come to America, live there, and you can be arrested for abuse or other things, and you could still maintain your legal status in America. Like once you're there. It appears that it's very hard to get rid of you. And Larissa was arrested so many times. And she, you know, her, her behavior is obviously abusive. We've all seen it on the show. And so there is documented video proof of it, but it doesn't seem to really matter. I mean, we've, you know, back in the day, I remember reading the post, uh, you know, speculating about her getting deported. It felt pretty regular that, uh, you know, there was speculation that she was going to get deported back to her country, to her family, and also her kids, uh, which are still back in Brazil. According to Heavy, Larissa was ordered to pay a $345 fine, serve 48 hours of community service, and attend domestic violence counseling. She was at risk of being deported, but her immigration status wasn't affected until much later. She met Eric Nichols a year after she arrived in the U.S. on Tinder. She celebrated her divorce by partying in Las Vegas, uh, together, Larissa also filed a police report against Eric for harassment in September 2019, but they got back together to have an on-off relationship. Now, supposedly, this Eric Nichols guy uh, was also rich. He was a um, Las Vegas guy as well. Uh, supposedly, he had money. September 2020, U.S. Weekly reported Larissa confirmed she was fired from 90 Day Fiance, calling in her final statement. She said she was released from her contract because of her show on the Camp Soda platform. Larissa had appeared on an adult lingerie webcam show for the live streaming site where she was going to reveal the results of her reported $72,000 in cosmetic surgery procedures. Larissa had completed a new body and face to resemble Kylie Jenner via procedures such as a nose job and breast augmentation. Larissa was taken into custody in LV in September 2020 while she was getting into a U-Haul truck with Eric and heading to Colorado by ICE officials. Larissa was detained by immigration and custom office, but was freed from custody after being arrested for what her representative said was a misunderstanding. 
Larissa ended up moving to Colorado with Eric eventually. However, it didn't last for long. She soon returned to LV, where she has been living since and thriving. In July of 2022, she spoke out after a botched plastic surgery procedure. She revealed that she had been living without a belly button for over a year. She had uh, gone to great lengths to change her appearance. She got ab implants and um, also saline implants in each breast, uh, 1500 cc. She claimed she underwent uh, abdominoplasty and her belly button was removed and disposed of without her consent. Several painful revisions later, her belly button was still not fixed. So um, she's underwent a lot of procedures, guys. That's basically the moral of the story here. So. She made headlines in May 2023 when she revealed that she had reconnected with her former mother-in-law, Debbie. Now, Larissa joined Debbie and Debbie's new boyfriend, Tony, for a fancy meal at Fogo de, Ch de, de Chawa in Las Vegas. Debbie shared a photo from the special occasion and called Larissa her favorite person. So I wonder if that was a dig at Vanessa Guerra. I, I guess time heals all wounds, right? Because this was a couple of years after... You know, Larissa and, and Colt's nonstop fighting involving the cops, abuse, violence, everything. And, of course, Debbie being in the middle of it and making the situation more uncomfortable for uh, everyone involved, really. Now, she recently revealed her new boyfriend. And uh, according to, um, you know, um, the site here, Screen Rant, it's, this is a Paul Paula Mayfield uh, husband lookalike. So Russ Mayfield... He kind of does look a little bit like Russ. I got I to gotta be honest. And here she said, Happy Valentine's Day to my other half and you all. Anything special planned for today? How do you plan to show your love? Consider expressing your feelings. Um, let's see if we can see a better picture here. I believe she shared that in a story back uh, in February. But uh, I don't think she has an actual picture uh, with this new man on her profile. Not as far as I can see. Uh, and so, um, this is Eric right here, but this was back in, you know, 2022. Larissa had previously expressed her interest in dating cast member Russ Mayfield during a Q and a session in, uh, 2022. Uh, she basically confirmed that now she revealed her new boyfriend in February and fans were shocked to see that he basically resembled Russ Mayfield. Now Larissa's ending her contract with 90 day fiance could be permanent as it doesn't look like the franchise has reopened its doors for Larissa Dos Santos. However, she's making her comeback after almost four years, so she'll be joining House of Villains Season 2. Larissa's promo photos uh, reveal that she's undergone a full transformation from head to toe uh, to the point of looking like a different person. So we'll see if she'll be as entertaining on the show as she was in 90 Day Fiance. So what do you guys think about this? Are you guys excited? You know, House of Villains, right? All, all villains, you know, on the show. So Larissa Dos Santos, a villain, joining the House of Villains. So do you guys think that Larissa was entertaining? I have to be honest with you guys. I actually thought, thought Larissa was actually not that entertaining. I actually thought that she was kind of boring and um, uneventful. I think the most entertaining uh, thing about her was just that her and Colt's relationship was just so you know incredibly toxic it's just the toxicity is really what made larissa uh, interesting but i thought that her personality was just there was there was none actually that, that that's what i thought so you guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below let me know if you're you know interested to see larissa let's see if we can see her here in this um in this promo here so we'll we'll take a quick look right here so we have some, you know, famous reality TV stars uh, in this show, obviously, as we can tell. And I don't know if Larissa is going to be here. She should be in the promo. Here she is. Right here. You're my favorite, and I'm going to let you win. Who's favorite too? So that's her promo right there, guys. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to tune in for Larissa? Are you guys excited for House of Villains? Is that something we should cover on the show? Uh, I mean, right here on the channel. You guys let me know what you think about all that in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, it was a bit uh, lengthy in terms of the history. Uh, you know, with Larissa and Eric and Colt and all of that. So a lot has happened with Larissa. But basically right now, 
She's doing her thing with her new body makeover, and supposedly she's got even more work done. So we'll see that on House of Villains. Now, she's not in the Darcy and Stacy category of total, totally but you know, butched yet. But I think that she's going to get there uh, pretty soon. And I think that she's gotten her chest, you know, her breasts uh, redone. And uh, that might cause some back problems. I don't know, guys. You guys let me know what you think about all that in the comment section down below. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you did, hit that subscribe button for more content right here on the channel. And I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.